Imagine, if you will, a sultry night in Buenos Aires. A man steps onto the dance floor with only one thing on his mind. The tango. The dance of life. The dance of love. <laughs> you're wondering why I'm dipping Vinny. Yeah, I was hoping you can give me a real good reason before I start screaming. Knock it off, Joe. Vinny's taking your sister to the prom tonight. And you're jealous? Oh, Joey, I asked your dad to teach me how to dance. You know, old time dancing. In old times, guys dance with guys. Hey, Joe, it's formal dancing. The tango, the waltz. Listen, I really want tonight to be a memory Blossom will never forget, you know? She should have been here about a minute ago. <laughs> you know how Blossom's always saying that I'm not romantic enough? Well, tonight we're talking everything. Corsage, fancy restaurant. She's in for a big surprise. Yeah, you see, Joe, Vinny thought ahead. Tonight Blossom will find him irresistible, and yet she's been instructed to resist. <laughs> of course. Well, I'm going to the prom alone. Uh, corsages, fancy dinners, doing the tangle with someone else's dad. I don't need you. I'm flying solo. I get it. I got it. What's he doing here? That. Beer. <laughs> Good for you. It's uh, Joey's principal from school, Mr. Monarchy. Joey? Dad, huh, I haven't been near that place, honest. <laughs> Slap on a smile Come out and walk in the sun for a while Don't like the feeling You know you want to have a good time And in my opinion The sun is going to surely shine whatsoever about this? Blossom, what's your problem? Why are you going to the prom with Ramundo Salazar? Well, it's really very simple. Since January, I've been racking up detention hours like James Earl Jones gets voiceover jobs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ramundo's father splits Peru, Bolivia, wherever, and takes his geek son to America. He doesn't fit in, so Principal Marnacki offers to cut me a deal. I take Ramon to the prom, he knocks my detention hours in half, and I skip on probation. I'm not going to see this on cops, am I? <laughs> not unless he tries to kiss me. <laughs> Look, I just don't want to see this guy's feelings get hurt. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm doing Ramundo a favor. With my luck, he'll show up with his two old maid aunts as chaperones. At least I don't have someone to dance with. <laughs> so is Winnie wearing a tux? Don't ask me what Vinny's doing. I mean, he's graduating, and he hasn't even told me if he's been accepted to any colleges yet. I mean, I'm trying to plan a life here, and I don't even know what we're doing after the prom. Hey, Joe. Hey. So, big prom night, huh? Yep. <laughs> Who are you taking? Nobody. <laughs> well, why don't you go with that Melanie girl? You guys seemed, uh, you know, close. Yeah, it was going pretty good, you know, until that, uh, one little thing got in the way. Losing your virginity to her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that I want it back. 
Hey, uh, so what was your problem like, huh? Well, Joey, it wasn't exactly the night of my life. Sure, I remember shapes, colors. But a lot of what I think went on, I keep confusing with scenes from the Poseidon adventure. Remember who you took? Yeah, it was either Shelley Winters or George Kennedy. <laughs> you know, it was, it was dark, it was wet, we were upside down. <laughs> you know what I remember most, though? My date's dad. Her dad? Yeah. Taught me to dance. Could that fat man rumba? <laughs> Well, you're not planning some kind of wacky final exam for those dance lessons, are you? No, Benny, I'm going to the prom. Oh, great. Night school finally paid off, huh? <laughs> so, uh, your principal called. One of your teachers hurt his back, so uh, he asked me to chaperone. Blossom! Benny's here! Wow. Dad, why do you and Vinny look like the top of a gay wedding cake? Boss, you look amazing. These are for you. Thanks. So, uh, Dad, what are the specials this evening? Your principal called, and Carol and I are now official chaperones. Oh, wow. Well, maybe we could all go together. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> I'll get it. Mr. Russo? Yes? I am Raimondo Salazar. It is my honor to escort me six Lumiere this evening. I hope I am not too late. Or early. Of course not, Raimondo. Please, come in. Thank you very much. And may I extend the warmest greetings from my father, Alberto Salazar, chief aide to the Bolivian Council. If you should ever have any business of a diplomatic nature, my father avails you of his services. Oh, thanks. I never know where to go with my diplomatic stuff. <laughs> and may I present a box of La Gloria Cubana Torpedoes Number no. 1 as the smallest token of gratitude. Cigars? Oh, not just cigars. The finest cigars made in this wonderful country. Thank you. Please, sit down. So, Raimondo, are you excited about going to the prom? Mr. Russo, as a pilgrim to this country, I can only hope that my ignorance of your customs do not plunge me into the disfavor of Sikhs or her friends. Don't worry, I think you'll blend right in. I just met Mrs. Lemure, a lovely woman. She gave me directions to your home. Six didn't tell you to pick her up here? An oversight. <laughs> well, here she is now. I'll leave you two alone. Six, you look fabulous. Thanks, so do you. Hi, Ramundo. Hello. These are for you. Cigars. Oh, no, no. These. <laughs> wow. I should get these in some darks. They have too big? No. Too small. No, they're just right. Blossom. <laughs> Could you relax? Sure, you can relax. You're graduating, your father's not here, and you didn't buy control top pantyhose by mistake. Listen, we are going to have a great night, all right? And I've got a surprise for you later. A surprise? What, is my mom fronting the band? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, did you uh, find Ramundo? No, why? He's your date. <laughs> Six, uh, we need to talk. Vinny, stay put, okay? I'll talk to you later. Hey, Vin. Hey. How are those dance lessons paying off, man? No, well, they're not. So far, I've just gotten yelled at for graduating. That's because you're involved in one of those monotonous relationships. <laughs> Holy cow, dump that chick. 
Joey, she's your sister. Hey, every girl is somebody's sister. <laughs> Ladies, how are you? Hey, Buzz. Hey. Ah, Tony. Hey, who's the guys? I don't know. Are they good ones? Well, let me put it to you this way. This is the most expensive piece of furniture in this house. <laughs> Come on, what do you say? What do you say you and I smoke one of these babies, huh? <laughs> No offense, Buzz, but the second you pick up a cigar, you turn into an old geezer telling boring stories about what it was like when you were a kid. Ah, come on. <laughs> come on. Everybody's doing it. First one's free. Well, okay. I'll try it, but just this once. Ooh, deja vu. <laughs> Ooh, deja vu. <laughs> Wanna dance? Are we allowed? Who's gonna stop us? The chaperone? <laughs> you know, I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And there's nobody I'd rather take to my kid's prom. Oh, you're just saying that because I'm the only girl here who hasn't called you Mr. Russo. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying that it's wrong to agree to go somewhere with someone and then ignore them once you get there. You know, my mom says that's the definition of marriage. Hi, Mr. Renner. Where's Raymond, no? She's gonna go look for him. <laughs> you know how he is. Excuse me. So, how do you feel about tigers? I beg your pardon? Well, you know, tigers. <laughs> I mean, now that you have a special interest in one. I do? Yes, Vinny's counselor told me he's been accepted to Princeton. And that makes him a tiger. Ah. The old orange and black. You must be very proud. Oh, oh that Princeton all the way uh, back east. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud. That's what he said. Well, once you're there, you'll have to drop him a line, let him know how things are going. And then tell him where? There with the other tigers. <laughs> Excuse me. May I? Not now, Ramundo. In a minute. <laughs> Boston, what are you talking about? I think you know perfectly well what I'm talking about. No. What, did I learn to dance? I thought you'd be happy about that. What? As a going away present? What? Hey, congratulations, Tiger! Look, I, uh... I gotta go. What is it with music these days? It's crap. 
<laughs> what are kids seeing this rap stuff? Rap crap. <laughs> Whatever happened to singers? Down the crapper. <laughs> we could give you a melody. Like Duran Duran. Cindy Lauper. Now that was music. <laughs> I remember Cindy Lauper in concert. 19... 87. <laughs> Couldn't have been more than 16 or 17 at the time. Now that was the singer. That girl just liked to have fun. <laughs> Blossom. Princeton? Yeah, I was going to tell you tonight. Tonight? Well, how about the night that you got the acceptance letter? Do I have to hear about your life from Mr. Marnacki? Why didn't we just discuss this? Because there was nothing to discuss. Oh, I get it. So now I'm just not included when you make decisions. Just let me explain, all right? I'll tell you what. Why don't you just explain it to Mr. Marnacki, and then maybe I'll hear about it eventually. Oh, come on. This. What is it? It's the danger. The music. It's the danger. The music. The smell of Clarisil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Someone's coming. kids today, huh? <laughs> and that man's name was Eddie Van Halen. Sorry about what? 
I took advantage of you that night. You took advantage of me? No, I thought that I took advantage of you. How could you? It was my idea. But that doesn't count. See, I'm the guy. It's always the guy's fault. It doesn't have to be somebody's fault, Joe. Really? I guess it just wasn't what I expected. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I mean, not in a bad way. It was just, um... We're three-dimensional, for one thing. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope I didn't mess things up with us, that's all. Not at all, Joe. No? No. Can I ask you a personal question? Of course. Do you want a kiss? Sure. You know, um, this could lead to dancing. I'll take no chances. And I give you this year's king and queen, Vinny Bonatardi and Blossom Russo. Uh, thank you. There was a time I never thought I'd graduate. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, well, I didn't see the point. But then I met Blossom. Surprised you still remember. And fortuitously, I am going to graduate and I get to go to college in the fall. Fortuitously, is that a Princeton word? <laughs> Actually, it's a word I'm hoping to use at UCLA. What? That's where I'm going. I don't get it. You see how I? Yeah, well, you know, it's a great school. And they'll keep me here close to you. You give up Princeton for me? I'd give up anything for you. Oh. <laughs> All the great ones are gone. Guy Lombardo. Karen Carpenter. <laughs> Egg creams. New Coke. <laughs> Trevor McGee and Molly. Kate and Alley. <laughs> Wide ties. Wide ties. <laughs> Buzz. Yeah. I think I'm about to be really sick. <laughs> yeah. I remember my first cigar. <laughs> Must have been 1934. I couldn't have been more than 14, 15. <laughs> evening. Yeah, well, I aim to please, you know. And the night is still young. UCLA, huh? You know what that makes you, don't you? Bruin. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think we ever stop doing stupid, impetuous things? Oh, yeah, sure. Just look at our parents. All you do is get super serious about everything. Yeah. Hey, I wonder what happened to Six. I don't know. I lost track. Maybe she's with Raymond. <laughs> Fat chance. I don't really think they hit it off. Sexy car. <laughs> Esteban, once more around the city. 